I have problems with my current water collection systems. I have problems when it rains too much and I have problems when it doesn't rain enough. So let me share the issues and I, I think I might come up with a solution which I share at the end. Let me know your thoughts on this. First off I'll take you back in time to when it was raining too much. The problem at the moment is the amount of rain that comes off the roof is too much for this pipe to redirect. So it's just overflowing onto the ground and creating this trench and it's going wherever it wants. So I'm thinking for now I'm just going to dig a new trench to redirect it to the other side of the driveway where hopefully it won't do as much damage. I do need to get the plumber out to have a bigger pipe off this with maybe an overflow option and then the smaller pipe still going to the big tank because the big tank is full right now and overflowing too so <laughs> these overflowing systems have always ended up at the bottom of our to-do list just there just there I managed to hit the pipe that goes from the tank to the house with my spade another bit yeah well it's not spurting straight away no leak so far that's interesting the, the soils this completely different colour to more that more sandy soil. So we've dug the channel all the way to the bank. It will be really interesting to see if it works and it's, it's going to be raining later today. <laughs> and just checking on this again. Oh, see there's a, a slight leak there too. Because there was a drip of water. So I think we need to wrap that bit too. I think I was just in too much of a rush and my spade just changed angles on me at the last minute. So there is a, a little chip somewhere else too. But the main one's holding. I just seem to have no luck with pipes. I've got this old footage that I didn't share because it was pretty embarrassing of another pipe. I drove a Y bar, I think it's a Y stake, Y bar, a metal ram into some ground and managed to hit a pipe under the ground. So <laughs> this is not the first time I've damaged a pipe that's underground. I was persuaded to carry on the channel just a little bit so the water can start off going in that direction. The reason I'm using a bit of wood like this is I've been influenced by New Zealand bushwalks. They use wooden channels to redirect the water in some parts if this isn't quite working I was thinking I could uh, attach another bit of wood at a right angle and have a V, a V channel. I'm so glad I did this guttering system because I think if it wasn't here I think the water would have tried to go under the house or in a direction I wouldn't want it to go. I've now realized I do need to modify it. The hilarious thing is this is where I want to park the car <laughs> but um, I'm not really parking it here right now because uh, this guttering is in the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of try a French canal again. I have got a few more tips about French canals than I previously had. Someone locally gave me the excess they had of this stuff. He said this is a good option. I'll give it a go, see, see what it's like. I know the next stage is they're supposed to put purely gravel down but I don't have any gravel on hand right now 
So I'm just going to use the pumice pile behind the house and if it fails I can just dig it up again and try again. It's a couple of months later and this French canal is still working. And then a few months later, when summer really got started, I then had the other extreme where I ran out of water. Excuse the crack of dawn face, it's very early, but last night we ran out of water. <laughs> uh, we just had like a couple of weeks of no rain and I guess, I don't know, the, this tank must not have been full. But anyway, after a bit of confusion, I got the ladder and checked and we, we had no water whatsoever. And it wasn't forecast, but it did start raining a little bit last night. It's perfect timing. I've also just set up a hose from the big tank to this little tank. I wasn't actually expecting this much water to be in it. <laughs> so I can actually use some water this morning. <laughs> but I'll start transferring water from the big tank to the little tank, I think. Just a bit more. It's crazy how much water is collected from just a little bit of rain from a hundred square metre roof. <laughs> Would you believe it? I've run out of water again. <laughs> I'd only filled it halfway. I think assuming that we were going to get a whole lot of rain, which just didn't happen. So I will probably fill it halfway again with the expectation that it's going to rain a little bit more in the coming week. This is definitely the downside in summer with the setup. I need to check how much water is actually in the big tank down there. And a local friend has suggested an easy way of being able to check the water levels instead of this ladder system, which I'm going to get onto. At least it happened at this time of day, which is much easier to set up than at bedtime. So I peeked inside and this is full chocker. What I have learned is just having a hose from the big tank to this tank just takes forever to fill this. I feel like I had it running for a couple of days and I think it only went up a couple of bands. So <laughs> it would be quite stressful I think to that water pump to be running that length of time to fill this tank. So, so I definitely need to improve the system. We just had a full day of rain. I'm curious to know how much water was collected off the roof. How full is this tank now just from a day of rain? That is actually amazing. That is full from just one day of rain. Now I'm kind of curious to know how long this water lasts. Could it be two weeks? I think I need to learn how much water we do use each week, really. And now I'm going to try a system a friend recommended of putting a float in the tank with some string on it and a weight at the end. And it basically lets you know at what level the tank is. Let's give it a go. So after getting the float from Bunnings, and trying to use old string that kept breaking. I've got new tough string ready to pop into the water tank.
And now I've realized I need the perfect weight at this end. Can't be too light, can't be too heavy. This is too heavy, a stick is too light. It's not quite working how I imagined. Could be that the, the rope's too twirly or do I need a little bit of a weight with the float inside? So this is a work in progress. The concept should work. So I've learnt that the current system just does not work at either extreme when there's too much rain or not enough rain. So I came up with all these complicated solutions to fix the little issues right now and then I had an epiphany. What do you think of this idea? What if I move this giant big tank behind the house? I could put that big tank just on this corner of the house, swap the guttering so it goes straight in there, nice and neat. I had imagined for some reason that I'd need the, the professional digger out to scrape a hole, but I don't know. It might actually be okay. I think the house is, I don't know, the tank is smaller than I imagined, or the house is taller than I imagined, so it might work out as a, a quite a simple solution really in the end. And then that way, when it starts overflowing, I can just redirect it to that grassy garden area there and the water can get soaked into the land. And then I'll have a whole lot of easy to collect water that I won't even need to really think about during the dry patches. I, th I think this is the simplest solution. Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like right now that full giant tank is not really being used so there's just this huge amount of water just sitting there unused. <laughs> <laughs>